Hi right, guys, so we're back with Crash, but she ran completely away now, which is what she does. Uh. But I think, you know, I think what this dog taught me, you know, and maybe look more at their face and stuff. Like, look more at their facial expression. I guess, I don't know. I, I feel like I can see what the dog is thinking. All right, so she's way over there. Let me try to do my pager. What I kind of decided, the pager from here, look at her go. Ah! She did not put that there. Poor Crash. Now she's crashing into everything. But that's her recall. Okay, hang on. The recall is to the platform. I hope you saw that, Mike. Yeah, she actually runs. That's the problem, though. You know, at night, she always wants to go out and play with the other dogs, you know, while I'm out there walking them at night. But I have to be careful because she just will slam into me. So if I'm just halfway not alert, I have to keep her in the house. Because just out of nowhere, she'll start running. All right, so, and Skyler's in there, too. Oh, see, you see that? I hope you saw that. Oh, she's chasing him away. You have to understand, I mean, she's perfectly able to communicate with this other blind dog. And again, they don't have any consciousness of anybody's who's blind or who's deaf or who's what. But she's able to communicate him with him with just that touch. And that's why I say don't touch him. Oh, she's going to run game on him again if he comes over here. So I've got my dumbbells, and I guess this is Crash's hat uh, that she forgot to wear at Halloween. But, you know, she does pick up random uh, things. So I'm just throwing it in the mix. I've got her now where she... All right, so I just show her the basket. So she knows the basket's there. Oh, little monkey Crash. you got to bring it to Mama. And I think I'm at the point, I could use the pager to make her come, how successful it would be. How oh, that little puppet scared her. Oh, you little monkey crash. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> you didn't know what that was, did you, Crash? She's definitely bringing it to me, though. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Venture out, Crash. Venture out. Yeah, I think it's helping her today, too, because it's windy. Oh, she loves anything like that little hat. You little monkey, don't you run off with it, Crash. Add my pager. Oh, she dropped it. Oh, but she came back. I want you to understand that's the most important part. Come over here, Crash. She's looking for the platform. <laughs> she checked it with her foot. I don't. And Cher, I don't know if you're there. If they're doing the footsie thing. I think the route to go then is sort of observe it with sort of the somewhat happy expression, but let them know there's a level of happiness uh, higher than this that you, we need to get to. All right, she's gonna find it. Oh, she found it with her foot. All right, now the real test. I don't know if you can see the little hat. Let me see if the little hat is in the shot. If she can seek and find the lost hat. Oh, Nina, anyway, she's getting huge. I've got to get her spayed. Tell me what I'm doing with this dog. I, I don't, you know, if it was a really good adopter, not that I don't love the dog, but... Let me tell you what, girl. All she has to do is get one piece of paper and some 500 pieces. All right, I think she's going to try to find that hat. And I, the reason why is because the wind, I think the wind is blowing this way. I think she might try to find it. I'm going to try looking at it. It's just, it's over there just off camera. You know, but she knows what my reaction to that is. She knows my reaction, if anything, is, you know, like another dog. And that's what you have to think of, Nina, with um, Oscar. Look, she's going to find it. She's going to find that hat, that little monkey. And she's going to bring it to me. She's looking for me. Oh, you little monkey crush. You are going to get so many treats for that crush. Mommy's going to make you a whole cake. So now she can find things, Mike. I hope you're there and saw that. 
Yeah, she can find things. And I do think that that's, you know, because the wind is coming from that way. See, I think she smelled it now. The wind is coming from... You're going to put your hat on for pictures, Crash. Yeah, that was her amazing feat of the day. Finding the lost hat. I mean, how cute is this hat, Nina? I'm going to try looking at that other one. I don't know whether it'll work, but... You know, she seems to have the feeling that there is another one. I never, just really never put them over there before. But she had success finding the hat over there, so she might go look there again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Almost. She just, yep. Oh, Crash. Crash, I've never, oh, I'm just talking crazy saying I would give you back to the rescue. Nina already said no returns. That's pretty amazing, though. All right, I can try putting another one up. You know, and maybe, I'm, I'm sure that these things have a lot of scent on them. I made a special, I think that, you know, and she's going to go back there because she had success there before. That's what you guys have to realize. Well, she's going to find it. Look at her. Now she really does fetch and bring me things. It's pretty undeniable. Oh, you little monkey. But it's got to be fairly easy to smell because I've got... My mix of hot dogs, moist and meaty. Um, you know, for you guys that are training 10 or 20 dogs a day, uh, this, has got, this is the potpourri. It's hot dogs, moist and meaty, and I think the kibbles and uh, sirloin or some crap. Where's she going to find it? Watch. Now the wind is against her. If she gets a whiff, she'll probably go back and look. She knows I'm not. She's still looking, though. You're gonna, just watch her real close. You're going to see when she gets a whiff of it. You know, and the reason she's going to go look there again, because she had success there before. Oh, you little, little monkey. Oh, Crash. Oh, she's better than all of them. She is better than all of them. Anyway, you guys, I hope, Mike, I hope you saw that. I hope you're impressed with that, because now not only does she... That is really retrieving. Cher, I hope you saw that. So, yeah, that's, you know, before it was kind of, And I think that's what we have to think of, because with this shepherd, this is what I want you to think of, Cher. You're only doing the deliver to hand right now. It's really not retrieving. Retrieving by definition, I think, would maybe be uh, getting something that was thrown. You're just, you're chopping that part off and getting the subtask of putting it in your hand because you already know with that dog, it's not going to work if you don't do that. He's going to get the thing and run off like he did with every other person that ever picked up a ball and wasn't smart enough to get two of them. All right, you guys, I'm just going to run through all the dogs and I'm just waiting. Oh, look at Crash. Oh, she's taking off. She's taking off. Let me see if I can do my hand call. Oh, yeah, she's, she's run out now. She's, she's completely run out. Look at her. She's way out there. She's way out there running around. All right, let me see if I can do my recall and get her back. Oh, yeah, she's all the way out there. All right, because I'm kind of figuring out out here. I can do the recall. All right, there's my pager. I can do the recall. Hopefully she's running the footstool again. She's coming this way. I can do the recall by virtue of the platform. If it's kind of, here she comes. Look at her. Look at her. Nina, you've got to say to yourself, if Crash has a better recall than Oscar, we need to take action quick. <laughs> now, that'll be my new infomercial. If a blind deaf dog has a better recall than your dog, you need to sign up for my course immediately. Yeah. You know, and I, w I wouldn't try to do a recall without... Look, I'm going to be able to get... Let me see if I can get the hat on her. No, she ran off again. Oh, she ran off again. All right, hang on, hang on. I'm going to page her back again. I'm going to tell her she, I wasn't there when she came back. Oh, no, she's just out there running around again. 
Oh, she wants to go to the pond. Don't worry. We're gonna, and Luke is back, so that's her little... Oh, that's her little pond, buddy. All right, there's my pager. Let's see if she comes running. She's, she's trying to thread her way. She knows she has to thread through that gate. Once she threads through the gate, I think she'll take off. Yep, there she comes. Oh, my precious little Mundo. Nina, please, you've got to say to yourself, <laughs> you've got to talk to that husband and say, listen, it's going to be a fun family project. And you guys have never really, uh, you know, you've never really had one that was trained before. And once you do, you'll never want one that isn't. All right, you guys, we'll be right back. But I hope you're amazed with that share. That's actually the dog. And it took a long time. I don't know how old this dog is, but, you know, it's never had the nick. Everything it does is by virtue of the patron. Not that I'm against the nick. I guess we'll be right back. <laughs>